Welcome everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get to Pack Punch in Zetsubo no Shima. So if you played the map any, you will know that Pack Punch is easy to find, but how to actually get to it, it's because the place where it is, it's flooded and blocked off. So I'm going to be showing you how to actually unflood it and to actually Pack Punch your weapons. So without further delay, let's get into it. Now, what you actually have to do before you even start this, you have to have the permanent power on. If you guys don't know how to do that, I will link down in the description for you can like kind of see how to do it yourself. After you have turned the power on, you have to head back into where the power switch is. I'll have the, if you guys don't know where that is or just kind of lost, I'll have myself walking over there. And you're just going to have to go underwater to where you block the, where you unblock the thing that was clogging. Do the power switch from beat on, I guess. And you'll find a part just somewhere down there. You can see where I found it in my gameplay, but it can be anywhere down there. So just kind of look around right there. So after that, you can move on to the next part. Now the next part is going to be heading in the same direction, except when you get to the room where you would normally turn left to go to the power room or the power switch, and you'll actually have to turn right and just open the door that's on the opposite of the power room door. And down here, you'll see a bunch of these things that are like, I guess there's zombies just wrapped in spider web. And what you're going to have to do, you want to stab them and you should probably kill the zombie that comes out, but you don't have to. When you're stabbing them, you'll just keep stabbing, just keep on opening these until one of them drops the part for the pack punch. Of course, the zombie won't drop it, it'll just fall out with the zombie. You guys will see in the gameplay that I'm playing. And so you just go ahead and do that. Go ahead and kill off the zombies because they won't even give you any points, which is kind of dumb. So just be careful about that. Of course, I did get down here, kind of annoying. Doesn't matter, just go ahead and we'll move on to the last piece. Now the last piece is actually in this, it's they're all around Pack Punch actually. There's three doors, one's to the power room, one's to the opposite side, and the one is all the way to the end is to where the kind of Division 9's main testing area was, where all these testing things are. And what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to head down here and you're going to have to actually go down to the lower level. You're going to see a door all the way at the, kind of at the back to the right though. And you'll be able to go down here and you'll see meal kick and you'll have to go through these caverns. And you just want to look around on the floor here. It'll be somewhere around the floor. Don't go too far into the blue area because the cavern will start to get a little blue and you don't want to go into that area. You have gone too far, but it's going to be somewhere around the floor in that area. Just look at the floor and if you do start to drown, just go ahead and pop your head up in these. There's a couple locations you can do it. Just you can see in the gameplay and it, while you're playing, if there's like a light glow up there, you go ahead and go there too. Now you have complete, you picked it, you've completed all the tools, like picked up all the parts for the machine tools now head all the way back up to where pack punch is flooded and there's these going to be three locations where you have to go around and hold square or x and just drain the water in these three locations just walk up to each one and you're going to drain it and after that is you should be done and you'll be able to have pack punch and you can pack punch as many times as you want and just you'll be having better guns I guess so if you guys enjoy this go ahead and tell me by leaving a like and if you guys haven't go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to be making a whole bunch of new tutorials that are going to help you out a lot inside Zetsubo Onoshima so stay tuned for that and I'll catch you guys on my next video